Hello, my name is Alexander Bruce. I'm with VDW, which is the German Machine Tool Builders Association. I will be joined later on by my colleague Karen Gripke, which who is with uh, ISW, the Institute for Controllers of uh, Machine Tools at Stuttgart University. And today we are going to talk about the initiative uh, of the German machine tool industry for unified connectivity for machine tools to other IT environments. Let's have a look at the current situation of our industry. We have a situation of great variety and complexity, which means we have a multi-vendor OEM, that's the machine tool manufacturers, OES, that is the controller or equipment suppliers market. And in the end effect, that means that for every new project or installation, it usually requires to match the machine tool that is sold to the IT environment of the customer. In reality, that means usually reprogramming of interfaces and readapting the machines to the new environment. This is a huge effort, and to overcome this effort, our strategy is now to incorporate OPC UA as a common language for machine tools to the end user side, and on the other side uh, for the machinery to provide connectors which can hook up to the common interfaces of the variety of suppliers to have a unified connectivity. When we have looked at fields of action where the machine tool industry as a sector should be active, we have identified a variety of stages where collaboration makes sense or maybe makes less sense. When we look at data coming from a machine tool, first thing is we need to have connectivity. That means we have to get the data in and out of the machine. The second level would be we need infrastructure to transport the data from the machine to wherever it is used. The third level is the platform. A platform is more or less a place where data can be stored, we can guarantee secure access, and we can go from there to provide additional services for our machine tool manufacturers or the customers. And the fourth layer is software and apps, which add value to the data we have gained from the machine tools. And this is certainly a field of competition. When we look at this in detail, it means software and apps are individual. They provide individualized solutions from the individual manufacturer to the individual customer. And this is clearly a field of a free market and competition. When we're looking at the layer of platforms, it means this is a basis for usability. On the other hand, it also means that you have to provide technology, you have to provide an instance of trust, where to store the data, and you have to provide security to access the data. This is certainly not a field for many machine tool builders to be active, but maybe for some of the bigger ones, this can be a field where they will engage. Infrastructure is clearly a buy decision. Nobody will want to invest in data storage systems or in telephone lines or in Wi-Fi networks. There we have expert companies that we can use as partners that will provide the infrastructure that we need. But the first level, the basic connectivity, this is certainly a thing where we can say in the future open connectivity will be mandatory to remain in business. This is no field for distinguishing between individual solutions, but this is a field for close collaboration and this is where we team up with our companies and this is also why we used OPC UA as the open communication standard for industry to provide this open accessibility. So what is the information for our initiative? First of all, the connection between a machine tool and whatever cloud or storage systems we have is mandatory to remain in business. Second, some of the machine tool manufacturers that our members already have experience in this field and other suppliers have already established proprietary structures. Third, a large fraction of our member companies are small and medium-sized companies. They certainly are dependent on the one hand of infrastructure and on the other hand of suppliers, for example, the control manufacturers. Fourth, customers do not accept proprietary solutions. They want to be able to take the machine tool, which is a multi-thousand or million euro investment to be able to be hooked up to whatever IT infrastructure they have on their premises. And we also see that there is an increased demand of customers to provide these solutions. But on the other hand, we see that there is a rapid uh, chaotic development that means the solutions that are at the market or the demand that is coming from the market is constantly changing. To sum that up, 
we can say cooperation between our industry, between our manufacturers and also other industries is essential. Hence OPC UA is the platform to have these kind of discussions. Second, um, there is already competence and experience available in our member companies, competence and experience that we need to use. We have a lot of dependencies and even more dependencies coming up because especially smaller companies cannot afford a high investment into the development of actually software or IT systems. And speed is key because the current development in the world requires us to act faster than anybody else that would otherwise set a standard that we simply would have to live with. Some key facts about our initiative. We have a core team of eight of the most well-known machine tool companies that have teamed up to actually put work into that topic. We are joined by some more companies for a rapid uh, development and also for reference implementation, which we soon, will soon be showing at a trade show. We have collaboration with our uh, leading control suppliers because in the end, it's not really that we want to develop OPC servers, but we would rather buy our own specification implemented in whatever the control manufacturer can supply. Nonetheless, uh, we have our specification based on OPC UA and we will implement our own server because we have the situation that we have in the future, hopefully greenfield installation, where we can buy a common language, a common interface from our suppliers, but we still have to deal with the brownfield which means we have installations that are years or tens of years in the field that the customers want to hook up and this is always individual work which we try to facilitate by providing an OPC UA server. Internationally uh, also we try to align the work that we are doing with our colleagues especially in the US who have launched the initiative of MT Connect which is already in collaboration with the OPC Foundation and we are also talking with our fellow associations within Europe via our rooftop uh, association SESIMO and in Japan and China and other markets where our customers are present and certainly where we export our machine tools to. Now we are going to provide you some information about how the architecture of our connector is designed and how the state of discussion in the field of parametrization is. For the architecture of our connector, we have distributed it into three tiers. We have the application layer, the connector layer and the machine tool layer, which I will present now in detail. In detail, we have in the machine tool layer a couple of data um, sources that are um, different all over the field and that we want to connect to. This is all brownfield, so there is nothing to change in here. The application layer um, is already known as the HMI or any on-premise or edge solutions, like you would have your MES or ERP systems. Or you could also connect to it via gateway and also use plat or cloud or platform services. In the connector, we have an OPC UA server, which is presenting um, a company specification by the VDW OPC UA server which also um, offers the possibility for OEM attachments to it. We also have access management and data storage. In Transformation Engine, we offer a script or coding environment in which we can use data that is acquired by data clients and then either reconfigure it in order to accommodate the companion specification defined by VDW. So far for parameters, we have already defined 12 user roles and 28 use cases um, that we want to specify further. We have broadened that field by using not only add machine information or the status of the machine, but also add job information, tool information or workpiece information. And in the first draft that we have internally published in May um, this year, we have already defined 58 parameters um, that cover five use cases, which range from the fast overview of uh, production running onto error statistics or also up to the overview of functional modes over the time. We are transforming this information currently into an OPC UA information model. And we will be installing a joint working group at the end of the year with the OPC Foundation and have a proposal for a release candidate available for discussion. If you want to contact the initiative, you can contact Mr. Bros with the VDW or myself with the ISW if you want to have any questions answered for technical details. Thank you for your attention again and see you next time.